Now, there's actually one young uh, table tennis girl from Russia who decided to compete for, the, not table tennis, lawn tennis. Long tennis. You know, the uh, on the 18th championship is ongoing in Tunisia. And you have uh, some Nigerian uh, you know, uh, players who really want to compete. And this lady on your screen, Melissa, is one athlete who decided to come represent Nigeria at that particular stage. Uh, just yesterday, she won her opening game. I think this is something that is really cool. <laughs> yeah, it, it depends on the motivating factor now. But, uh, she know. said she has been representing Russia uh, at some stage on the t 12 level and all that. You know, long tennis they start very, very early yeah. abroad and all that. But now she feels she just the father said she should come represent yeah, her country. Right. Yeah, it depends on the motivating factor. <laughs> it could be the dad, you know, wanting her to represent the country, or it could be the fact that you know the Russians. When it comes to tennis, they yes. have talent <laughs> yes. everywhere. At the point, the top ten women in the world, we had about seven Russians, you know, on the top ten uh, list. So definitely, uh, if it's that, if it's coming from that uh, angle that uh, she, maybe she couldn't, she wouldn't be able to get a look in into the Russian side because I mean, at the point, Marsha, I probably couldn't get into the Russian team. Although it wasn't because of our playing prowess, yeah. it was because of the fact that uh, she was based in, uh, yeah, she's based US, in Miami US, and everything, oh. and not really, uh, they don't really see her like that. But. Uh, let's, uh, let's just hope that you know she's quite good. Uh, apparently, she's won her opening game, so maybe she's no flash in the pan. And uh, if she decides to come to Nigeria and uh, help improve our tennis, you know, maybe inspire uh, yeah. a, a whole, another generation to start playing tennis. Because uh, when the Williams sisters came to Nigeria, we were there, and uh, before they took on each other, we saw some young some Nigerian yes, girls, yes. you know, some 14-year-olds, 12-year-olds, you know, 11-year-olds play and slug it out on the court, and they are actually quite impressive. So if this might just be the needed tonic you know uh, yeah. seeing somebody leave all, leave Russia and come compete for Nigeria you know maybe That's the good. Nigerian girls will be like hey we well, can also do the, this uh, Nigeria, table, uh, Nigeria Tennis Nigeria. Federation yeah. NTA they're actually doing something really remarkable for her to really want to come compete because you know some most Nigerians especially the one in Britain we know that they just want to nationalize they play for the, the team and not come to Nigeria because they tell you that look I don't like the politics in Nigerian sports but well, well, if she decides to come here I think that's maybe Nigerian Tennis tradition, they're really doing something really cool. Okay, now talking about the flying eagles, Kalichi and Nacho making the list. Uh, you're also having the likes of Chidiberi Wankali, and you're also having the likes of Lorike Ojo, all of them, you know, making. They were actually, uh, it's a five month list release earlier, provisional list. But right now, the main list will be out today, and there's some, some key players that will be there. Yeah, I, I, this is one of the most anticipated lists uh, as regards the under 20 national team. You know, uh, I can remember the last time uh, uh, naming a team for the under 20 World Cup generated exactly. this much interest. Yeah. It's because of uh, well, the abundance of players we have, number one. Number two, we saw we saw them at the Super 4 tournament. We know that these boys are capable of, you know, do, yeah. and we saw how they went to Africa and uh, went to the continent and dominated. Uh, you know, so it's going to... <laughs> Everyone's going to fight for a It's going to be hard. Yeah, I, I, some people even say as a success might not make this team. And it's, going to, it, and it's going to be shocking if and as a success doesn't make this team, you know, well, it just shows you that the amount of quality <laughs> yes, in this side. Know. If you remember when they went on the seventeen side, yes. as a success was the main striker. Until they got injured. It just shows you that in this team you cannot slack. Because any uh, one mistake, you might just lose your place in the team. But uh, I, I'm expecting to see a, a very uh, compact team. Uh, the man, the manager, Van Garba, he's been in charge of these boys for a while, so he should know his team. And uh, uh, anything, uh, anything he picks, uh, I'll be okay with it. Trust me, because he's, he knows how to unearth these players from everywhere. After they won the under 17, we saw what they went to do at, at the under 20 level. So I wouldn't be uh, whatever he picks, we'll be fine with it and watch and see how they perform at the World Cup. Okay, we'll see that. Now, let's take a look at the papers. Now, you have some interesting stories here. We're starting with a complete sport this month. Of course, the big one, Manchester City crumble. And Chelsea is saying, catch us if you can. Nine points clear. Of course, they can make noise with that. Now, CAF Congress delays Keshe's Eagles deal. Big Boss may sign new contract next week. This news, okay, we won't talk about it. United not <laughs> Under five million triple swap for who you find out details on complete sports. Now another one is one interesting one is still on complete sport is Arsenal is number one in Europe because of their form recently. Now soccer star you have Igalo lift uh, Watford. Jerko insists on Syria has switched. He wants to leave Manchester City. Money budget one and five for selling and humans. Okay, it's just a rumor, you know. Benitez 
quit Napoli. That's a big one. And Oscar sets to dump Chelsea for who? You find out. And soccer star. And Guardiola, I'm not world's best coach. Okay. I sporting life. Okay, this is where the main gist is. Super Eagles job. Cashing bows to Amodu. Who is Amodu? Former Super Eagles coach. You know him very well. The man usually called to the rescue whenever Super Eagles failed to <laughs> qualify for any game. And he gets to qualify them. And of course, they bring in a foreign coach to take over. And Mikel Lobe is saying to Mourinho, I am fit to play. The Flying Eagles professional couple is of course out today. Ian Achua and uh, success picked for that. And Gallo tops 2015 chart. That's talking about England Championship and Allegri is keen on having Fernandez in his squad. Now, this Keshi's ball to Omodu. What do you think? Uh, I think uh, right now Keshi uh, would have to uh, take a lot of things uh, if he wants to remain as coach of the Super Eagles because of the uh, uh, anything, so, <laughs> anything, at all. anything, anything at all. Because uh, he's come out to apologize to Nigerians, you know, about the fact that he didn't qualify for the Nations Cup and all whatnot, and all the things that have been going on. So I think he's ready to just, you know, swallow a lot of things. And, you, you, you think? And, and you know, is it really? I mean, for, it's in the paper, so we don't know how true this until Nigerian Football Federation we are able to confirm this now. Is it possible for him to really want to work on that Amadeus rival? What do you think? Or is it the right thing for him to do? It depends on it depends on what context. Okay, which is? You know, uh, you're talking about wanting to work on the Shwaibu Amode. It maybe uh, it doesn't necessarily mean that uh, Shwaibu would be making decisions. It's just that uh, they will have to confer. You know, he will have to confer with Shwaibu and say, okay, this is what I think. And they will put mind, rub minds together and say, okay, and, and, and figure out the best way forward for the team. It might not necessarily be that he would take others from Shwaibu and Modu. So okay. it, it depends on what context we're okay. talking about here. It's just the way they okay, would Okay, you're dodging a question. I, <laughs> <laughs> we'll go for a short break now. We'll come back. We'll talk about Manchester City. How they were able to crumble against Crystal Palace. <laughs>